Well, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you guys. It is about 7 o'clock in the morning. 7.31 to me exactly. Uh, 7, 7 in the morning. And I haven't done any. I haven't done um, a card reading in a long time. <clears throat> so I wanted to just share a message with you today. Let's see what Spirit has to tell us today on this beautiful day. do we have today? Some ants just uh, caught my eye. Ants, community, family, building together, working as a working as a community, right? Okay, so I wanted to come out. Transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. Oof. You guys can see that? This is a beautiful card, actually. Very beautiful card. A lot of us are going through transformation. You know, a lot of us are going through um, some dark night of the soul type of thing. You know, uh, looking at your shadow self, working through... Uh, emotions that you feel, triggers, um, your vibration is rising. I mean, <clears throat> this year it has totally been about reflection looking at what makes you happy like analyzing basically everything right it says things are changing on a cellular level you're not who you are a year ago or who you will be soon keep doing the work you are transforming you will look back at this time with awe so much is happening in your inner world and within yourselves it is time to release old ways of being that have kept you in fight flight fight flight mode <clears throat> to choose a new way of being where trauma is not driving a driving force our childhood patterns are rising up to be healed as you allow yourself to observe them and feel them without attachment they loosen up grip and fall away you are being called to find new ways to soothe yourself <clears throat> so <clears throat> a lot of you guys um that follow my instagram page um and I used to do a lot of lives. I used to tell you guys a lot that most adults are walking children, walking children that are filled with trauma. So if you look at it, I used to be <clears throat> a little bit more um, off edge. You know, everything used to trigger me a lot. I didn't, I wasn't able to control my mouth when people said things that I didn't like. Um, there's a lot of things that I've learned in the last, um, I would say, three years, three to four years <clears throat> on how to express myself and how to, how to not let others get a reaction out of me, you know, because not everything deserves a reaction, right? So it's almost like <clears throat> you need to be consciously aware of what you're putting your energy into, right? Because you don't want to put your energy into something and then find out at the end of the day that uh, wasn't for your highest good, right? So what I would recommend is that 
you pray or meditate or whatever it is that you do to get some time for yourself, right? <clears throat> um, sometimes we let the outside world dictate what we feel on the inside. So not letting people <clears throat> control the way that you feel is the best thing for you because then you don't let people trigger trigger you, you know? Because then again, getting triggered just is almost like a test to see if you've learned your lesson, you know? And some of us, you know, we're human, right? Some of us, um, when we're getting tested, we uh, lose it a little bit. This has happened to me too. Lost it a little bit. Lost it a little bit. You know? Uh, the second card that we pulled <clears throat> was this one. Okay, which is um, your vibration is rising. It says you are heaven on earth. You are heaven and earth in perfect expression. I come to it for the light of the heavens to earth. You are a rainbow bridge. Which technically women us women are the vessel for heaven on earth because we are the carrier of that light hence our womb hence how we bring children into this world hence why most of our men should that's enough that's for another video <laughs> let me keep on with this okay it says, take time to meditate. Imagine yourself as a pillar of light connecting the light of the heavens above with the earth. As the light shines through each of your chakras, you activate the rainbow bridge that many ancient scriptures speak about. Raising your vibration and the vibration of the planet. Linking the higher realms and the cosmos, guides, angels, and spirit with the ancient wisdom keepers and beings of the earth. They dance together through you. They sing together through you. Without your body, voice, and creations, neither can be expressed. For too long, we've taught, <clears throat> we've been taught that God is outside of us, giving away our power to angels and to spirit guides. But without they, without you, they do not have a voice. You are the oracle. Do not look for guidance outside, for you hold all the wisdom of. The entire universe in the portal of your heart in every cell of your body do not do not see the angels and guides as above you for without you they have no way of communicating you are the oracle you are the rainbow bridge you are the pillar of light <clears throat> but that said is think about it this way <clears throat> you and every other person on this world has the capability of spreading the word spreading gospel and what is that that's just gospel is basically just positive words positive spells that you're speaking out into the world you know any one of us can be an earth angel any one of us can be a messenger for someone you know you telling your story you expressing yourself could help others you know sometimes you can be going through some some fucked up shit in your mind because most of it is in our mind and you go to the store you're in the line and somebody somebody behind you or somebody in front of you said something and that phrase or that word just basically clears up everything that you had in your mind and what does that tell you is that messages are everywhere you know god the angels the universe whatever you want to call it they send us messages every single day. We just have to open ourselves to receiving it. That's all. Sometimes we get wrapped in our own mind. And that's the worst thing. Because that's like the prisoner of the mind is us all the time. Prisoner of the mind, you know? <clears throat> I'm going to pull another card. And then I'm going to call it a day. So that way you guys can... You know, just uh, spend some time with your family or not, you know, you can spend time with your family or you don't have to, you know, it's do what you want to do, do what you want to do, do what makes you happy, do what 
Do what's not going to make you uncomfortable. Do what's going to make you, what's not going to make you uncomfortable. Some of us just go because, oh, it's my mom or it's my dad or it's my grandma, you know? Just saying. Sometimes we gotta be by ourselves. All right, we have crystal ball, which is clarity. Let's see. This is actually I haven't really used this um this deck in a long time, but it says here, <clears throat> your wish to grow and move ahead has been heard, and the universe awaits your further instructions. Oh, look at me holding it backwards. You may think you know what you want at this time, but you're unsure of how to ask for it or exactly what it is you should ask for. Remember, if your thinking is muddled, the universe cannot give you a clear response. This card reminds you that you must be absolutely crystal clear about what it is that you actually desire in order to bring it about. There's a foundation of an art of the art of manifestation. Take time to focus on the subject of your of your inquiry. At this time, Clarity seeks you out and asks, what is it that you really want to know? Hmm. Listen to this. It says, be conscious of every word you speak and each thought you think. Concentrate on honing on your own special talents and interests. A clear sign will soon present itself in an answer to your question. Be sure to keep full alert. So, remember what I said earlier today? about words or spells you can you can express positive or you can also express negative what is it that you want to express okay just remember that everything that is going on within is shown on the outside so if your life out here is chaotic go within and figure out what it is inside of you that is creating that chaotic scenery around you okay so i hope this video was helpful to you guys um if not don't worry i'm gonna have a lot more but um i am back uh this time is going to be a commitment right because i'm just kind of <clears throat> just being I'm just going to be present and I'm just going to be of service and that's all I'm gonna do so any of you guys that are interested in booking me for uh, Reiki massages for any type of healing work um, I'm gonna put my contact info below uh, if you guys want to connect with me please feel free to connect with me on Instagram um, and obviously here on here um, I will try my very best to give you guys the content that you want. But hey, if you guys want to see something in particular, holla at me, you know? Um, I'm actually rebranding myself. Or should I say reintroducing myself as the Reiki master that I am, the healer that I am, God's child. Um, and then, you know, all the other magical stuff that I do. Because the first thing that I want to be known for is to share the word because that is what I'm here for. I'm here to be of service to all of my brothers and sisters. So remember to be the light. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And remember, you control what happens in your life to the fullest. All right? God bless.